work out how to look after their retirement savings. That's according to a report from a group of MPs. Ben has been taking a look at this one for us this morning. Really important, isn't it, Ben? It is really important, but it can seem so overwhelming to so many people, and so they keep putting it off. And this report says it's actually still a minefield. So we're going to try and break it down and help people give them some uh, advice. Very good morning. Back in 2015, there were big reforms that meant people aged 55 and over were given much more choice about how they manage their retirement savings. Now, one of those options includes the ability to take a quarter of your pension as tax-free cash. Now, it's given people loads of extra freedom, but unless you're financially savvy, knowing how to manage the remaining 75% properly can be, well, confusing. Today's report basically says the right advice is the missing part of the pension's jigsaw. And bad advice can mean bad experiences, like making a poor investment with your cash or even being tricked into just giving it away. In fact, the average amount of money that people typically lose in a pension scam is now around £50,000 each. And these scams, unfortunately, are becoming more and more common. The government does operate an advice service for people over 50, and it's called PensionWise. But this report out today says people should automatically be enrolled onto this service to make sure they don't miss out. And MPs also want a target of 60% of us either using pension wise or getting proper advice when we access our pension pots for the first time. One of the big changes that came in was the ability to take your pension as a cash lump sum. Now that, on the face of it, is really, really attractive to people. You know, they could use it to pay off debts, go on holiday. But actually, once they've got this cash lump sum, what do they do with it? It could, it could have to last them for like 20, 25 years. Now, with that flexibility came complexity. And the government at the time said that people would be able to access guidance to help them make you know, to help them make the right decisions and inform them of their choices. And they established PensionWise, which is an amazing service, but just not enough people know about it. I think only about 14% of people that could use it are using it. And that brings concerns that people are effectively sleepwalking into retirement and maybe making the wrong decisions about their retirement income. Well, there are other proposals in the report too, including making sure that more of us have a different variety of various investments to fund our retirements. Now, the government says it's going to introduce stronger policies to nudge people towards accessing advice. Workplace pensions will now have to offer a pension-wise appointment. But will all of this be enough? I'm going to be asking a pensions expert that very question a little bit later in the programme. We'll be speaking about how you avoid the pitfalls and knowing where to get the best help. So if you've got questions, send them in, send your comments as well. The usual way, we'll try to answer as many of them as we can. BBC Breakfast at bbc.co.uk or on social media. So uh, join me for that a little later. Thanks for to be done to help work out how to look after people, for people to work out how to look after their retirement savings. Yes. That's according to a report from a group of MPs. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about pensions? Do you find them confusing? Uh, ben is going to be answering some of those crucial questions this morning. Morning, Ben. Morning. Yeah, it's something that people find so overwhelming. It is confusing and, you know, with good reason. And that's why we're talking about it today. It is one of those things that can seem like a minefield. And that's exactly what a report out today says. And it says people are struggling to navigate it. Good morning. Uh, back in 2015, there were big reforms that meant people aged 55 and over were given more choice about how they manage their retirement savings. Now, one of those options includes the ability to take a quarter of your pension as tax-free cash. That has given people a lot of extra freedom, but unless you're financially savvy, knowing what to do and how to manage the remaining 75% properly, well, it can be confusing. And bad advice can mean bad experiences, like being tricked into just giving it away. In fact, the average amount of money that people typically lose in a pension scam is now around £50,000 each. And these scams, unfortunately, are becoming more and more common. Now, the government does operate an advice service for people over 50, and it's called PensionWise. But the report that's out today says people should automatically be enrolled onto this service to make sure they don't miss out. Well, let's speak now to personal finance expert Jasmine Bertles, who joins us from West London. Um, Jasmine, firstly, it can seem so overwhelming, so confusing. Uh, where should people start when they're thinking about sorting out a pension? 
Yes, I agree. I, you know, everything, it seems to do with pensions is confusing. Even the word, you know, we use the word pensions to mean all sorts of different things. Um, but uh, you've mentioned pension wise. And as you say, this is a free service that is offered to anybody over 50. Now, one of the um, suggestions by this committee has been that people should be automatically enrolled into it, because it's one of those things that a lot of people don't know about. You can get to 50, 60, and you have no idea that you could actually get this free advice session. Whereas if you're automatically enrolled into it, you'll get a letter or an email, whatever, saying you, ha you have a, a, a free session. When would you like to take it? So people are much more likely to take it up. And that, I think, would be a, a huge help to, to people who are thinking about retiring. It might be, you know, a few years away, but mm. by the time you're in, in your 50s, that is a good time to start thinking, when would I like to retire? How much money am I going to need in retirement? Because that's something that many people don't know. Um, okay. When could I retire, etc. OK, well, we've had a lot of questions from people uh, at home about this. And we'll start with one from Sharon. Uh, she says, I have a number of pensions because I've moved uh, between different jobs. Is there any benefit to amalgamating all those different pensions together? There can be, yes. Um, it, this is one of those things that, it, again, ideally you need advice for, um, because it, there certainly can be, um, but it very much depends on you, on how many pensions you've got, on how they're doing, etc. So ideally, in all honesty, um, it would be a good idea to pay a financial advisor to crunch the numbers for you and let you know. Um, if you're not keen on that, and it does cost, you're probably looking at about a couple of thousand pounds, frankly, to, to do that, depending on how much money you've got there, maybe a thousand, two thousand. Um, if mm -hmm. there are websites like Pension B that has a calculator you can use and to find out what pensions you do have, because quite often people have pensions they didn't realise that they had mm -hmm. from way back. Um, if you go to the, the government's pension tracing service, which is on gov.uk, that'll help you find out all the pensions that you've got and then you can do do the calculations and work out if it is going to be helpful because with some pensions you know it, okay. you, you will lose when you move okay um you've kind of answered tom's question there so we'll we'll get one more question in uh, this one from paul saying after i've taken my 25 percent tax free do i pay tax on the remainder if i'm taking less than my annual personal allowance annually and i have no other income uh, presumably uh, paul's thinking about when he draws down that pension after retirement Absolutely. Um, no, th this, you're absolutely right. If you can keep your income below the income tax threshold of 12,570 as it is at the moment, um, then yeah, you won't have to pay tax. Do remember though, that will include all of your income. So it's not just the pension, you know, if you've got income from elsewhere, it's all added up. So if that puts you over the, the threshold, then you will start to pay tax. But if you're clever with it, no, you won't have to. OK, uh, Jasmine, thank you very much. Jasmine Bertels, their personal finance expert. And we should say the government is now going to introduce stronger policies to try and nudge people towards accessing advice. Workplace pensions will now have to offer a pension-wise appointment. The big question, we have to wait and see, will all this be enough? Ben, thanks very much.